Today, drug maker Mylan announced a series of steps to say to make the EpiPen more affordable for some of its patients. There's been a firestorm after the drug price went up to $600 for a two pack. And the CEO responded today. I'm joined now by allergy spe specialist Dr. Asif Khan to get more insight. Thanks for being here with us tonight. Uh, you're welcome. So let's talk about the prescription process when patients are in your office. Uh, is cost part of the discussion when you're talking about the EpiPen because it's so expensive? I think nowadays it is, and one of the problems is is that so many different insurance plans are out there. I never know what insurances will cover what. Sure. So most of the time, I will actually mention the price of the medicine, what, whether it's an inhaler or, in fact, in this case, an EpiPen. And uh, when I do say that, I always let the patients uh, uh, do the investigation to see if it's covered. If it's not covered, then I give them an alternative. Talk about some of those alternatives, because I think some people don't realize that EpiPen is a brand name, right? It is not the end-all, be-all for epinephrine. Absolutely. There's about three or four different types of epinephrine auto-injectors, basically. And uh, this happens to be a very convenient one. And, and convenience is one of those things that you might need in a certain situation. Um, however rare, there were only roughly 10 to 11 deaths in the last three to four years. Wow. And okay. so we're spending billions of dollars on a medicine to save certain lives, which are important. Uh, but I do think that when I started my residency career, I remember this medicine being $40. And it's the same exact medicine. And, yeah. and in an alternative, for example, this particular vial is the same exact medicine that's inside of a $600 pen. Okay. There's 60 doses in here. And it cost me $18. Wow. And that's a bit. And how does that work, though? Does it take the same amount of time as an auto injector? There's a couple extra steps, okay. but if you tr if you these these reactions are so rare, so basically you could practice this on a regular basis, especially sure. even with a teenager, for example. Yeah. Uh, I've had that occur in, in my office. I had parents come in and they asked me for the alternative. I walked them through the uh, basic uh, the actual uh, test, and you just draw it up basically, and you get whatever dose you're supposed to get, which I told them what it's going to be. Sure. Once you do it, you just go ahead and administer it, and you're done. That's it takes less thing. than five seconds. Interesting. And I know that's something that. A lot of people haven't seen an allergic reaction before. Are we talking about seconds making the difference between life and death when they happen? Well, let's put it this way. If you're a parent with a child that has a problem, what are you going to do? You're going to avoid it. Right. And you're going to have basically very minimal reactions in your life. And if they do occur accidentally, for example, you do roughly, if there, it depends on what you're going to eat. Sometimes it's 30 seconds. Sometimes it doesn't really even occur if you yeah. eat the actual uh, product, but basically it can range between a minute and five minutes. So you have gotcha. plenty of time to take this out, save yourself plenty of money, that type of thing. Um, this company, it's six hundred dollars is a lot of money for yeah. this. I really think it is. My personally, I try to save my patients as much money as I can. All right, thanks for the insight tonight, Dr. Hey, you're Khan. Welcome. We appreciate it.